All year round, Troy Knowlton scours this area along the St. Mary's River in search of a rare gem that can't be found anywhere else, amylite. This is what we have found and what, what I just dug up. So this is referred to as K-Zone. It's a lower quality of amylite, but it's still beautiful. Knowlton is Blackfoot from Bigani Nation and the owner of Blackfoot Rocks and Gems, a business that specializes in amylite. If I find one that hasn't been broken, I want to I wanna be the first to break it. Down the river is the Corite International Mine who agreed to allow Knowlton to surface it's mine in this back. area. He takes his findings home and prepares the stone for jewelry making. A month ago, amylite was declared the official gemstone of Alberta because it can only be found here in the southern part of the province, near and on the blood reserve. Millions of years ago, this was all a massive sea filled with amylite creatures. Now its fossils and remnants of its shell remain. Where it was a very desirable stone and was very valuable, now that there's a, a direct connection to the province of Alberta, the value has, has increased because now it's the official gemstone of Alberta. To be truthful, it's been a little bit disappointful. Beth and Tracy Day Chief own Buffalo Rock Mining, which has been in operation since 2008. Out of three, it's the only Indigenous-owned amylite mine, and it's permitted by the Blood Tribe. They say the tribe and their business was left out of the announcement that amylite would be the official gemstone by the province. When they made the announcement, it made it sound like Corey was the only ammonite company. Our mine wasn't mentioned in the announcement. Um, our tribe was announced, wasn't included in the announcement. Tracy Day Chief says it's been affecting their business. Our uh, market is in China. We're, we're, we're on the shopping channel. So when, when the government uh, made, made, made that announcement on um, paper that there were the only mines. So that caused this guys are some of our, our, uh, what's it called? Our, our sale, our yeah. sales. APTN has reached out to the province for a comment. We didn't get a response before airtime. For Knowlton, the announcement gives recognition of Blackfoot territory and the importance of amylite to the Blackfoot people. Remnants of amylite called iniskum or buffalo stone are said to bring luck for things like harvesting food and are now part of ceremonies. The ammonites have been used for the, in the Blackfoot uh, culture and spirituality for over a thousand years. And uh, the ammonites themselves, smaller ones like this, I've seen depicted in, in photographs uh, in ceremonies that were cataloged at the, at the, in the early, early 1900s. Knowlton's finished product is paired with his wife's silver work and sold at local rock shows, where they share the story of Amylite, Alberta's hidden gem. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Lethbridge.